think the most exciting thing for us this year is that it, this project get, has given us the opportunity to renovate the pavilions and not only just to sort of give our fans uh, new amenities in the restrooms and the concessions and the entertainment and the things that we're offering out here, but also to really rethink the, the pavilions themselves. So in the cavity where uh, between uh, the first row of benches and the home run wall, we're creating a new seating section that we call the home run seats that are uh, uh, drink rails, not unlike the ones right here at the top of the park, uh, and uh, and bar stool seating. Uh, we're really pitching that for groups. It's got a nice, wonderful environment of what could be better than sitting uh, right there at the top of the outfield wall. And then at the top of the pavilion, we created a deck, again, not unlike the one that's here at the top of the park, that will not only accommodate uh, ADA seating, but importantly, standing room, lots of milling around space, and for the first time ever, a physical connection from the pavilions back to Dodger Stadium. And that's been one of the important goals for us with this project, is to change the circulation. This building was designed uh, thinking that everyone would enter on their level, watch nine innings of baseball, and leave. And it's just not the way we watch baseball anymore. We're sort of much more social. Fans like to mill around. We like to have food offerings and uh, places to sit and eat that's not just a hot dog in our lap. And so this center field project has created a new front door for us and five new, five new elevators, four new escalators, and all of our gates are moved out so that we're creating 360 degree circulation uh, that will culminate with being able to tie the pavilions in center field back to the rest of Dodger Stadium. Some of the other things that I think are noteworthy is uh, we're often asked, well, is this changing capacity? Are you adding seats or you're taking seats away? The answer is no. We will be a capacity of 56,000 just as we have been since 1962. The difference is instead of 56,000 seats where you just put your fanny in between two armrests, we've now got 56,000 positions that include the bar stools, include the standing room, include some of the space that is much more social and much more uh, fluid, much like the older parks. So Stan Caston, our president and CEO's mandate to us was don't change the postcard view. Don't do anything that fouls up the unique look of Dodger Stadium, but let's give our fans the kinds of amenities that they would find if this park had been built yesterday. So that's been our goal, and you'll be the judge of whether or not we succeed in March the 26th. Like the same outfield wall goes back up, um, and the dimensions haven't changed, uh, the wall hasn't changed, sponsored uh, by our by the Dodgers so that there is an opportunity to have organized play as well as some casual play. We've got little batting cages uh, that are going out there so there should be a lot of fun things to do. Um, we're also looking forward to um, showing off a lot of memorabilia in the Centerville Plaza. So you all just have the luxury of walking down the corner that's got um, all those beautiful gold gloves and the World Series trophies and MVP trophies, and we are very proud that we're going to be able to offer that caliber of exhibits in center field, including a display of the gold gloves. So uh, all of our fans will have access to that kind of Dodger history uh, and just the, the bling, which often uh, has been kept uh, in a hidden spot at Dodger City. Um, I also should mention um, the window, if you will, underneath the scoreboard. So we refer to it internally as our porch. Uh, so it, all, it like the uh, breezeway above, looks in both directions. It looks out onto the center field plaza and onto the playing field. Um, and it, it's, in the future, fans who have tickets in the pavilion will likely find that to be the easiest way to enter because it used to be that when you, you had to walk down to walk up and then uh, by March the 26th, when you come in, everyone will enter at the cross aisle level unless you happen to have the home run seat tickets and you'll enter there and um, be able to then have half our fans go down and half our fans go up. There are concessions on all three levels of the pavilion. There are concessions, excuse me, there are restrooms on two levels 
So we're proud to say that we've literally doubled the number of restrooms that are in center field. Uh, we've also built a first aid room and a nursing room for moms uh, as a part of what happens underneath the pavilions. So we hope that this will, uh, you know, again, just sort of help us work through the checklist of things that you find in new ballparks that we haven't had a chance to do here at Dodger Stadium. We have something similar in the right field pavilion as well. Uh, so we really try to set something up that while we don't want to interrupt our pitcher's concentration, we still love the idea that our fans can really be engaged with the game. You can also see on the second level uh, where we've added at the same level as the cross aisle another set of restrooms. Uh, and that's how we got to double our count out here. Um, and then you can see uh, in the cavity right here where the Hawkeye crane is sitting, uh, where we're adding the two rows of elevated seating that are going to have the drink rail and the bar stools. that comes back to Dodger Stadium. So 